Hey, hey everybody. Hey, good to see you all. How are you doing on this fine night? All right, if you're watching me live, hope you guys are doing well. And if you're watching the recording of this, take out a pencil, take out a pen, take out a, I don't know, take out a pad of paper, or maybe you have a good memory, okay? So, all right, uh, give me about 30 seconds. I just wanna make sure you know everything is on on my Facebook feed here. All right, let me blow my screen up. It looks like I'm live. Can, can you guys all see me? I'm live on Facebook right now, and I'm also recording. I'm going to make a video here. I haven't been live for a couple days. I've been all over the country, kind of touring around, checking out beautiful California. It's 91 degrees, Northern California. Las Vegas was awesome, too. Still hitting like 70, 80 degrees there. But even in Salt Lake City, where I'm based out of, uh, God, it's hitting like 60, and it's crystal clear. So cheers to that. Before we continue, get a pen, get a paper, get a pencil. I don't know if you have your cell phone, maybe you can just type in some information. Uh, Cause I wanna tell you about a, an opportunity. All right, normally I'm talking about uh, another few businesses that I have, but this one is a project uh, that's been behind the scenes for about the last month. And right now I'm starting to release what I'm doing and an opportunity for people out there that have a CDL license, okay? A class A. Now, CDL, last time I checked, I think it means commercial driver and driver's license. That's different than if you have like a taxi cab or a motorcycle license or even a B or a C, because there's lots of driver's licenses out there. And there's some box trucks that are 26 feet, but you know what? It's just not good enough. You gotta have a class A. And that means you can drive those big, big boy trucks. You know, you see all the semis out there, the Peterbilts, the Kenworths. You guys know all those trucks, don't you? Now, if you're currently a semi truck driver and you've got a current CDL, class A, you, you have a current medical, you got to have a medical exam and a piece of, you got to have like a piece of paper that says, yes, you have a heart and it's beating. You got to be drug free. You also have to pass a PP test. Okay. Um, it's pretty strict to drive a semi truck. Okay. A lot of people think of the good old days, man, just everybody, you know, drinking coffee all day and taking pills to stay up so they can drive to Florida in two days from New York to California to, you know, there's all this crazy stuff. But right now you, you obviously, to be a commercial driver, especially of a big ass semi truck, you have to have a current medical card, okay? So if you have a current medical card and you have a current CDL license, you probably have a current semi truck job, okay? Now, if you've taken the last, I don't know, six months to a year off, I definitely understand because driving a lot, it can burn you out. It can make you tired where you want to rest a little bit and do other type of work. But only you know, if you're watching this video right now, if you have a current uh, CDL license, you know, class A. So if you do, and you have a current medical card, and you can pass a PP test, all right? Because if obviously, if you're taking things that you shouldn't be taking, or if you're drinking things that you shouldn't be drinking, you ain't gonna be driving for anybody, let alone the opportunity and the great company that I work with, okay? So uh, let's, let's start the little chit chat. If you guys got a pen, paper, even if you don't have a CDL license, maybe you're a wife, or maybe, I don't know, you're a friend of a friend, but if you know somebody that's a badass driver, and I mean, they're reliable, they are badass people, they're fun, because if I work with people and they're grouchy and they're know-it-all, I don't want to work with you. But if you're kind of cool and you like to have fun and you like to make top pay, one thing I do know, I know what a semi-truck driver makes on almost every company out there. The only way I don't know is if you're an owner-operator. And to own your own truck and to get your own loads means you have to pay for your tire repair, your fuel you got to pay for a lot of stuff when you own your own semi truck and good for you guys that do because you can make a lot of money in driving. But if you're an older guy, kind of like myself, I'm in my fifties, I turned 53 in about a month. 
sometimes it's fun just to get out on the country and see things and do things. And I mean, I, I love it. I, I personally love it. I can't work nine to five. I've tried that, I think a couple times, but I, I'm not a nine to five guy. I kind of like the open road. I like to kind of work by myself, but it's kind of cool to work for a company that, you know, takes care of all the badass semi trucks and the trailers. You got dispatch that has all the loads for you. Take, you know, take, just taking care of all the pain in the ass shit that can happen when you own your own business. Cause we've all probably owned our own business. You could have a flower shop, you could have nightclubs. Maybe you're lucky enough to own your own law firm, you know, but good for you guys that do. But if you want to make a lot of money, you're a good natured person. And I try to be, but let's be honest. You get pissed off a lot, man, you might stub your toe. Maybe your wife is yelling at you. Maybe your husband, maybe there's girls out there that drive. And their husbands are on their case or their boyfriends or, I mean, I get it. I'm just, you know, but if you're good natured and you get over drama quite fast and you're a pretty good person and you're reliable, then this opportunity might be for you. Okay. And I'm more worried about the personality and the flakiness than anything, because a lot of people, I've had a lot of people, I've owned nightclubs, I've owned a lot of businesses. And when it comes to employees, it's by far the biggest nightmare when you own a business that needs employees. Because sometimes you're lucky enough where it's your mom, your dad, your sister, maybe you can do your own thing. You have one employee and it's you. But when it comes to teamwork, I get scared shitless. Just like a football team needs Tom Brady or they need, they need someone to kick that extra point. But you know, you know, a business is just like a football team, a baseball team could be a hockey team. It's a little bit like tennis. You can be on your own, but you know what, when you, when you form a company and you want to build a company to bigger and better things, employees scare the hell out of me because I know that it always starts off good. And then a, a, a person's true self usually comes out within a month, maybe a week, maybe it takes a little while, but, but honestly, if you have a CDL license and you enjoy driving and that's just what you do, you're good at it and you're a rock star, then please take down this information or just watch my video here because I have an opportunity and I just want to make sure that if you want to work alongside with me and, and some other great people, uh, that you're the right person. Okay. If my video is working and I'm not talking to myself, we need three drivers that are OTR that's over the road. That means going to California. Maybe you're going down to Arizona and back. Maybe you're going down to Florida and back. Maybe you're just going to Arizona and back a couple times a week, or maybe you're going up to Idaho to pick up something to take to Missouri. There's roads all over America and there's a semi truck probably almost every mile now because thanks to the internet, people are buying more than ever. All right. Granted, goodbye Kmart. Goodbye all Oh my God, I think all shopping is online now. You know, thank goodness that Target's hanging in there in Walmart. But the thing with people is they're buying more than ever. They're eating more than ever. They're buying cell phones more than ever. They're on Amazon more than ever ordering shit. And the only way that stuff come, comes is probably made in China, might be made in the United States, but it's usually going to come on an airplane or a ship. And from there, it usually goes on a train or a semi truck then a semi truck drops it off uh, either to UPS or FedEx or something like that, where they can like deliver it either by a drone, which I think is insane. Uh, but the semi truck business is bigger than ever. The money is there. You've just got to be a good, reliable driver. You can't be bitching and moaning and saying, Oh, this sucks. And Oh God, rock and roll sucks. And YouTube's ru running everything. And you know, everything just sucks. No, it doesn't. If things are sucking in your life, then change it. Come on, man. If you guys are watching me on Facebook right now, it's pretty good. We have health. You guys are cool enough to probably have a cell phone or a laptop. And you guys are uh, fu you know, lucky enough to be alive. So it's pretty damn good to be alive right now. Uh, so let's just cheers to that. And then uh, let's talk some business, okay? Yes, I can pass a medical. And I drink energy drinks. I do love frozen peanut butter cups. But... When it comes to passing a medical, and this is mostly for people, I'm just kind of talking to people that don't have, you know, 
a, a CDL license or, you know, their health isn't an issue with their job. Because most people, you know, random drug test, whatever, but semi-truck driving is very regulated now. And I just want to tell everybody this because I know that the image that truck drivers have, some guys might weigh 500 pounds of Cheetos. Some people might be named Billy without no teeth. They might not have no teeth. They don't have to brush. How lucky are they? <laughs> so I think we all know uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to the semi-truck driver, male or female. And we've watched Duel with Steven Spielberg. We've watched, um, oh, that one from Stephen King where the semi-trucks turn into bad guys with Emilio Estevez. Do you remember that show? There's a lot of semi-truck, you know, moving on. And who remembers BJ the Bear? Now, if you're a little older like me, a little long in the tooth, a little gray in the face, you guys remember BJ and the Bear. That's the kind of image I like. Driving around, pretty girls, maybe have a chimpanzee named Bubbles. You know, but if you guys remember BJ and the Bear, that's the attitude I like to have when I'm on the road because uh, there's a lot of things that can piss you off when you're driving. Potholes, traffic, maybe someone didn't load this right or maybe someone flipped you off. You know how many times I've been flipped off in the last five, seven years? Probably every day. And I, I still don't even know what I do. Just driving around, look out your window. There's somebody flipping you off. I could give a shit. To me, I still have my ice cold energy drink. I have my fine friends out there on Facebook. How y'all? What's happening? And life's pretty darn good. So if people just go like this, just remember they're going like this. You're number one. That's what they mean. <laughs> okay, get a pen and paper out. If you're a driver, or maybe you know somebody that needs a badass job and wants to make top money, all right? And when I mean top, when I mean top money, I mean it. Um, if you can make more money in semi truck driving, you'd be doing it right now. But if you're stuck in a rut and you're kind of pissed off where you're driving at, this is probably something for you. Okay. So anyway, if you have a good driving record, you have some experience. You don't have reckless. You don't have a thousand speeding tickets. You don't have a DUI. You don't have all that nonsense. Um, if you do have a ticket, we understand. If you have a ticket where you're accidentally reading your phone while driving, we understand there's a lot of tickets out there. So don't think you're counted out with this opportunity if you do have something, because I'm gonna have you call Brian, a buddy of mine, and uh, it's his final decision on if you're, you know, if, you're, if you're okay to drive with us. Because it comes down to insurance, to be honest. Even if you know a truck driving company and the owner says, yes, I'll hire you, it doesn't matter. If the insurance company says no, it's no. Because obviously, insurance is the end-all be-all when it comes down to driving now and uh, whatnot. So, class A, CDL license, okay, check. If you have a current medical card, check. If you can pass a P-test, you're going to go down and probably a girl that's 19 is going to say, sir, will you please pee in this? It is embarrassing. You got to lock yourself in a, ba a bathroom. You got to pee. And then you got to give it to the girl, usually, and then they seal it and they mail it to a random third party place. And they can tell if you're on any type of drug or alcohol or some nonsense that's in your blood that we can't tell just by looking at you, okay? So you got to pass a P test. And anyone that's been driving before, everything I'm saying right now the last 15 minutes, you guys all know what I'm talking about, okay? This is mostly for newer people or just kind of telling people about how semi truck business is. Uh, that don't really know anything about it other than just flipping us off when we're driving down the freeway, okay? All right, so class CDL, great. You got a medical card, great. And you've got to be reliable. If you say you're going to do something, you've got to do it to the best of your ability. You can't be flaky. You can't say, no, I'm tired. I'm going to take the week off and go to Lake Powell. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to do that. If you're a flaky person, just don't, don't waste your time. But if you're a very hardworking person, and you do the best you can in anything you do every day, that's the type of person that I like to work with because we'll all form a team. We're forming a football team right now, okay? Because if you have, if I have your back, I want you to have my back too. If something happens out on the road, we're, we want to make sure you're okay. If I want to take a couple days off so I can build a Lego kit, somebody had to build this. They didn't build it for me. I needed time to build this. You know what? And it comes down to teamwork. So if you're a teamwork player and you want to make top pay and you're a pretty fun guy or girl, 
then let's do business, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna contact me live on my Facebook, okay? Just go to my inbox, I'll get all your stuff. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, how much experience you have. If you do have something on your driving record, tell me. If you have a clean record, don't worry about it. You'll pass no problem. And if you have good experience and no accidents and all that other stuff, then you're probably a good semi-truck driver. You're just probably stuck in a rut, you're tired, you might work with a bigger company where they, you're no, you're nobody. You're just, you know, you, you, you might feel lonely. You might feel pissed off. You might feel used. I mean, almost any job causes you to have these types of emotions. But if we're forming more of a team, you know, a football team, we're all going to know each other and we, we all need to support each other and we all need to get along and have some fun because that's, that's what life's really about when you think about it. When you make money, what do you buy? I don't know, maybe you go to the movies, you take your wife or your kids out to Disneyland or you buy a new car uh, or you buy Lego sets like I do. But we should all try to just have the most fun we can every 24 hours because a lot of us have to work. We work hard. I work my ass off and I love it. It defines me. If I take too much time off, I actually feel like I'm losing traction on life. Um, so if you like to work and feel like you got a got something good going on in your life, then we want to take care of you, okay? So right now, get a hold of me if you have a current CDL license and you have experience driving these big ass trucks, okay? We're talking uh, newer Peterbilts, 2018, 2019. I drive a 2020 uh, uh, Peterbilt. Uh, they're 579s, all right? We have newer trailers, Great Dane, which I, in my opinion, are the best. We have Reefer, which obviously, you know, you can, when people think of reefer trailers that they're not in the semi business, a reefer is kind of like refrigeration. When we tow around reefer trailers, that doesn't mean we're now distributors for pot in what is it, California, Oregon, Colorado, Las Vegas. We're built in, uh, we're based in Utah. And I don't know if Utah's ever gonna have pot legal, but no, we do not have reefer trailers and distribute pot. <laughs> so, you know, we've got a bunch of trailers. They're all just top notch. We do have some dry trailers too, uh, which means you don't have to refrigerate, cool or heat, whatever you're transporting. So let's say you're transporting toilet paper. You don't need to freeze it. But if you're doing ice cream, you know, it's minus 10. If you're doing potatoes, you might have to get that bad boy to 53 degrees. So, uh, but we do a do reefer loads and we do do dry. All right, we're not a big company. We're not giant. We're the size of a football team, okay? So our equipment's nice. It's good shit. All right. We run automatic transmissions. They run awesome. It's like driving a Suburban. There's some drivers out there that have to have 18 speeds, 13 speeds, 10. You don't have to tell me. I just got out of a hot rod 379 Peterbilt, 18 speed, 2,200 pounds of torque. And that son of a bitch would go hundred miles an hour without even breathing hard. So I know all about that manly bullshit when it comes to semi trucking. Did there done that? I've bought that book, read it, and already put it underneath my mattress so no one catches me reading it. But Peterbilt, I think in most people's opinions, is if not the best, it's in the top two best semi-truck built. They're the Ferrari of semi-trucks. We run Peterbilt. We run Cummins engines, which I think are badass. There's only a couple legal that you can even run on the highway now anyway. But you put a big old 900 cubic inch Cummins in these trucks. You got a shitload of torque. Transmissions are awesome. Most are the brand new automatic 12 speeds. They're awesome. I've had these on and off over the last five, six, seven years, and I have done everything from doubles, every, every form of driving, in dangerous stuff, snow, hills. I've done it all in an automatic, and they are badass. So, if you're a fan of the automatic like myself, it's a lot of less stress on your back, on your shifting, on your knees. You're a better driver, you're safer. Plus you get really kick-ass fuel mileage, which is always kind of nice. So uh, so if you like a newer Peterbilt with an automatic, uh, a couple bunks, all right? Uh, you can have a fridge, you can have a microwave. You know what, if you need an inverter in that darn thing to power up a home stereo, a microwave, a blow dryer, and a home computer, that's what I do. Um, you know, there's a lot of cool things that you can put in a truck to make it comfortable on the road. And that's what this company, that's the company I work with. That's what we want to do. Okay. So I think you'll be more than happy with the equipment. Okay. Trailers are nice. 
Uh, even the load locks are nice. And you guys know load locks? You put them in the back of the trailer to secure the load so it don't tip over. Most load locks, they look like they've been on the bottom of the ocean next to the Titanic. Even our load locks are shiny and beautiful. <laughs> and that's amazing in trucking. All right, I'm kind of bullshitting a little bit. All right, let's, um, if I have your attention, um, let's just go ahead and I'm going to switch my screens and just kind of talk about a few things about with this company, okay? And this is for you if you're watching me live and you are a truck driver now, male, female, or maybe you're just a friend or a wife, okay? I'm going to flip the screen and just show you a couple things. And then you guys are going to get a hold of me on my Facebook page just in my inbox, okay? Um, I want to talk to you guys, all right? I want to just chat with you and see how you're doing. Make sure you're okay mentally, physically. Are you good natured? I just want to meet you. That's all. Because if we get along, we're going to have a good experience. Okay. Because we'll start you at 55 cents. And if you guys are awesome drivers and stuff, we'll bump you up. You know, how would you like 60 cents a mile? That's a lot. That is a shitload in semi truck driving. The only people that make more than that is, are usually people that lease their truck or owner operator. You guys have heard that term probably, even if you're not in trucking, okay? But if we're willing to kick you 55 cents per mile and bonuses, okay? And health insurance and 401k and all that stuff, that's what I wanna to talk to you about, okay? Because I'm gonna show you why working for this company really kicks ass. And no doubt about it, the money is always the, you know, I'm not gonna bullshit you guys, it's always about the money first. And if you can get along and have a pleasurable experience along the way, damn it, that kind of cool. So uh, give me a minute. I'm going to flip over my Facebook page here uh, or my screen and just show you a truck, show you a trailer. And then I have some notes that I just want to talk to you guys about. So uh, my hardest thing is when I flip screens. Okay. So um, hold on just a sec. I just have to share my screen here. I always have to look down because I forgot what screen I'm on. All right, let's see here if I did it okay. I hit the share button. Okay, can you guys see my screen right now? It's just a, a big old white truck. You see that big monster right there? This is basically a beautiful Peterbilt 579. You guys see them on the road. Uh, Peterbilt always has that beautiful logo. I'm a big fan of Peterbilts. They're my favorite truck. All right, we got top-notch wheels. We got top-notch equipment. We've got everything that you've already seen especially if you're already a semi-truck driver but these things are comfortable they're really nice okay so if you're going to drive one of these trucks you're going to feel good about yourself you're not going to drive shit you're not going to drive something all hammered and broken and has 17 different wheels and 15 other lug nuts and and they're all rusted up and shit okay we're based out of salt lake city but these things are you know if a truck's only a couple years old, they, they can't really get that dirty to begin with. It takes a while to get a semi-truck beat to shit. So anyway, if you're looking at my screen, you can just see this white truck. This is just a basic 579, all right? Uh, my truck, I got a nice push guard on it and stuff. And But you guys, if you guys are already driving, you guys know what a 579 is. And even if you're not, you guys know these slant noses. They get, they're aerodynamic. They get killer fuel mileage, comfortable as shit. You know, with air, air suspension, see the cab? Most people don't realize that not only do you have a suspension, you have airbag suspension in front, airbags in back, but the whole cab is on airbags as well. And then on top of that, your seats are on airbags on an air suspension. So you've really got like three forms of air while these big old bastards are going down the road. So if you had a father or a grandfather like I did that did trucking their whole life, they really paid the price. Their backs hurt. And I'll tell you what, they didn't have GPS and cell phones. So I really look up to the trucking industry. It's one of the toughest there is. But you know what? If you want to feel like you earned your paycheck, there's nothing more fulfilling than trucking, man. It is a manly job. And girls that do it, they're, they're better than us guys. So I high five the girls that do it. And there's a lot of women that drive these badass trucks. So anyway, that's just a 575. I'll show you what a, just like a Great Dane trailer. Um, I wish I had a picture of our own. I forgot to. I was down at the yard today messing around. But um, you guys know what reefers and dry are probably. And if you don't, and you guys are just watching my video just for fun, um, how you guys doing, by the way? I'm doing more of a, I guess this would be considered more of a recruiting, a recruiting video. Is that what it is? <laughs> so, all right. Well, you know, 
most people have seen trailers on the freeway. This is a typical Great Dane. They're great. This is the reefer on front. This is kind of an older trailer. Our trailers are much more sexy than this, uh, this old boy here. But, um, you know, in a dry trailer, see the front of it? It doesn't have like an engine or motor on the front cooling. So we've got, you know, some real badass dry ones that are nice. And uh, we have reefer as well. So when it comes down to our equipment, it's really good. Okay, let me flip over to a screen here. And hopefully you guys can see this. It says, uh, clear. okay, so we have newer equipment. Most of our trucks are 2018 to 2020. Peterbilt 579s with those sexy automatic transmissions, all right? Um, right now, we could use up to three drivers, like right now, okay? So if you're looking at maybe ending a current job and coming with a real company, this might be for you. If you've taken a few months off or maybe in a year, I don't know, but if you have good experience and you're a good person, uh, we just have to verify that yes, you do have to have a valid class A and you have to have a medical card that's current and you definitely have to pass a PP test, okay? So anyway, um, if you come aboard and my good buddy Brian likes what he sees and hears, uh, we're based in Salt Lake City. Okay, we're just down the street from Sap Brothers. It's a big old giant main hub in Salt Lake City. And we're not even a mile away from Sap Brothers. So we're in the heart of trucking central, that's for sure. We have our own yard, our own parking, okay, uh, with local drivers. And we'll talk about that in a second. We're gonna have guys that'll maybe help you pick up your load, go get you know, empty trailers and do, do a lot of stuff. Because when you're on the road, OTR, you just want to get that trailer, unload it, take your time off and rest, and then do it again. You know, uh, some of the hardest part of driving a semi truck is not driving. It's waiting for your load. Sometimes it's only a half hour. Sometimes they can mess the load up and people are slow and, you know, you're waiting five hours, 10 hours, six hours, what, three hours pisses me off. But the waiting can drive you crazy. And the best way to avoid that is if we have local drivers in Salt Lake City helping out, and then we do good business. Because right now, with most trucking companies, they're on a digital log. That means GPS. That means when you move your truck the first 100 feet, that darn thing in your, in your truck can tell. And you can't fib. You can't lie. You can't bullshit. You can only work up to 14 hours in one day, but you can only drive 11 of those hours. Okay? so. The first eight hours you can drive, but if you're gonna drive 11, you have to take you know a 30 minute break. So you guys all know this, if you're semi-truck drivers, this is just kind of for my buddies watching right now that don't know, you know what the rules and policies and all the bull crap that we do to deliver a piece of lettuce from point A to point B. <laughs> so so um, right now we're based in Salt Lake. We're kind of by Sap, or, you know, Sap Brothers, and you guys all know what it is if you guys are truckers. Okay, now I'm in the middle of my screen. Uh, we offer a 401k. That's kind of nice. You know, if you want to put some money away, um, I think we match up to four G's. It's something like that, 4% or four G's. I think that's it. And uh, Brian will go over everything uh, in detail. I just want to tell you more about the drive-in and the equipment part, okay? Health insurance, all right? After you're with us for a little bit, we'll pay half of that. You know, that's nice, you know, so if your health insurance is 130 bucks a month, you know, you only have to come up with half that. That's kind of nice, man, because if you're older like myself, health is everything, you know, uh, you know, look at your teeth, look at your joints, go, go do, God, check your blood pressure, you know, take care of yourself, especially if it's affordable. Vacation pay, we have that, of course, the longer you're with us, the more weeks of, of paid vacation you're going to get, and uh, of course, Brian or or someone else can go over that with you. But um, anyway, right there in the screen, it says good driving record, no DUIs, reckless. Obviously, if you got a catastrophic driving record, you know it and don't waste your time and get a hold of us, okay? But if you've got like something, like a citation for something, give Brian a call, okay? I'll give you his number and it's up to him. And right now, uh, I just know that the biggest nightmares are DUI, reckless, or failing inspections, or you just screw something up in your semi truck if you wreck or I mean, God, there's a lot of things that are critical out there. But uh, current medical card, you guys can see in the middle of the screen. We talked about that. Pass a PP test. The hardest part is peeing in that little thing. <laughs> so, all right. 
If you're OTR, that doesn't mean out to ranch or out to lunch. OTR means you're on the road, man. You like to go down to California, maybe Arizona, maybe go to the Midwest, maybe go east. I don't know. We have runs all over the place. Okay. Let's uh, kick you off at 55 cents. All right. Which is pretty cool because all the biggest carriers out there, you know, they, they like a CR England or a Swift, they'll start you out at like 32 cents, then maybe bump you up to 38 cents. And then if you have a friend of a friend that has a smaller company, they might pay you 40 to 42 cents. And that's about the cusp because with insurance and the way that fuel costs are right now, the hardest part for an owner of a semi truck business is to get over the 40 to 42 cent a mile, you know, I guess peak. All right. We're going to blow that out of the water by 13 cents. Okay. So if you're reliable, a pretty good person, and you got your shit together. Let's have a cool little football team, all right? Let's let's make something of this. Let's start you out at 55 cents. And after a while, you prove yourself, you're reliable, you can be in a good mood and have some fun with us. Um, I know I know that they will bump you up, all right? You know, so how 60 cents sound after a while? That's pretty darn good, isn't it? Any trucker right now listening has to agree. If you can start out at 55 cents and bump your way up to 60. I mean, that's a, that's a good paycheck, all right? Now our trucks, they're not limited at 62. Most trucks now are limited to 65 to 68, okay? If you're a driver, I, I don't like those speeds. The re one reason why is you're stuck in traffic a lot and there's other semi-trucks that go the same speed. And when you try to pass in the fast lane, do you notice that semi-trucks are always crowding during the day? Sometimes you'll have like a truck only going 68 in the fast lane. Don't be mad at the truckers, okay? I know that everyone is in a rush. Every car can go 80 miles an hour in first gear. But if you see truckers stuck in the fast lane, it means their truck probably won't go over 70 miles an hour. More than likely, it's probably stuck at 65 to 68. They're just trying to get around other drivers that are stuck at 62, like Swift, CR England, Prime, the real big companies that have like 5,000, 10,000, 18,000 trucks, they're governed to go slow because the more fuel uh, per mile they get, you know, it's, 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 it's more money for the company, okay? Our trucks go 75 miles an hour. That's awesome. You get places. When it's safe and you're in the middle of Utah, 75, you're breezing. It feels great. When you're in Las Vegas, going to St. George, when you're in Texas, there's a lot of areas where you can go 75 miles an hour uh, legally. It's a very common speed limit now. It's not 55 and 65 like the good old days. Um, one of the last states that's still lame as hell is California. In California, in a semi-truck, it's 55 in the whole state. It don't matter if you're on the corner of Prim going into California by Vegas. It don't matter if you're in the middle of the mountains by Lake Tahoe or Sacramento. It's 55. And California is so broke right now that if you go like 59 miles an hour, they'll probably want to give you a ticket because they want your money. Because California, they just can't get their shit together when it comes to paying for stuff. Uh, no excuse. They, they should be ashamed of themselves at the waste of government. But anyway, if you're a semi-truck driver, and every five minutes, the semi-guys are shaking their head going, oh yeah, you're right, Corey. California, if you go 59 or more, you're going to get yourself a ticket probably. So, But our trucks go 75. All right, so you can pass, you can get out of people's way. When you're in the middle of nowhere, you can get the hell and, and get, some, get some distance in. It's very easy to get six, 700 miles in when you guys are uh, allowed to go 75 miles an hour, okay? So if you're safe and you feel good at 75, then do it. I do 75 everywhere I can legally, and I'll tell you what, man, I, I, it feels good to go 75, I'll tell you that. That's, a, that's one of the first questions that anyone's gonna ask me if they wanna get a hold of me here on Facebook. So, all right. Well, anyway, when you get your truck, you're going to get to keep it. Okay. Now, occasionally maybe you have to open up your truck or move something around, or maybe the yard needs it for something, you know, to move this, or maybe you're parked in the way or something. But, but if you're assigned a truck, you know, other than local, you know, you can move your stuff in, you can put your, put your little food items in and put your socks and your little chones and uh, put, put your clothes and all the other stuff, you know, so anyway, you guys uh, keep your seat, and that's kind of nice, isn't it? All right, now, th that, th everything I've just been talking about is mostly OTR, okay? 
when you call Brian, you're going to tell him what you've been doing. What's your comfort zone? Do you like to drive five days and take two days off? Do you like to drive seven days and take a few days off? Do you like to drive a couple days, rest for a day, then take, work four days? Or do you like to just hammer it? Some, I call them lone wolves. And I kind of get this way. I want to I want to go all over America for a couple of weeks. I just love driving. I have my music, my tunes. You can put flat screen TVs in. I mean, God, there's so much cool shit you can do in semi trucks now. They're like RVs. So um, everybody likes to drive differently. Some people drive in the day because of their biorhythms. I'm a night guy. So, man, I love to drive all during the night when there's no traffic, you know. So, but anyway, before you call Brian, what's your comfort zone? What have you done in the past that you feel good about? Because, you know, we don't want you doing something to where the first week or two, you're like, oh man, I'm trying too hard, or I can't do this, or man, I feel like I'm working myself to the bone, or, you know, or I'm not getting enough miles, you know, there's plenty of miles out there. You just got to ask yourself, what's your, what's your happy place? And right now, man, if you're making 55 cents, and get this, after a month or two, we're going to give you a thousand bonus. A few more months, work with us, keep your, keep your tail feathers nice and fluffy man, we'll bump you 1500 bucks. And if you work with us for one year, we will give you four grand. Okay. Four grand. So if you're going to work for a company anyway, uh, how, you know, ask yourself, what, do you get a company bonus at your trucking company now or your company where you work at? Does Walmart give you a $4,000 bonus after a year? And remember this, you get a thousand, a 1500 and a $4,000 bonus. You're getting five, six, seven thousand dollars just by you know being safe, being reliable, and, and let's have some fun. And if you're grouchy, we're gonna put a smile on your face. If we have to, we'll run you over and tickle you. But we're gonna get you out of your shitty job and you're gonna have some fun driving, man. That's what it's all about. Because I'm gonna call you and see how you guys are doing. And if you're in a bad mood, I'm gonna say that's it. Yeah, we're gonna have to tickle your ass. I mean, with our fingers up your butt. That don't feel good, does it? <laughs> it kind of feels okay. I did that earlier. <laughs> so anyway, um, so if you're OTR and you, you feel good about making 55 cents a mile, that's to start. Bump you a little bit up more after you're safe and reliable. And then we'll go ahead and give you some really nice cash bonuses. This isn't trade. This isn't a hotel room for this. And this isn't two for one bullshit. This is like cash. Okay. So, and we'll talk about that, you know, if we hire you, you know, we'll make, we'll make sure that you feel good about yourselves if you guys are kicking ass uh, for us and you, and you give us a good team because that's what we're more worried about than anything is we all want to support each other in this business. Okay, let's just talk about local because we could use one to two local drivers and that's where you have a CDL, class A, you got to have a medical card, you got to pee and pass a drug test. But if you're more of a person that just likes to drive around all day and go home every night, you've got a wife, a girlfriend, maybe you're a girl that has a boyfriend or a husband or kids or whatever, but sometimes it's nice just do a hard day's work and then go home and then do it again. You know, five nights, four, five, six, you know, whatever. It's up to the company. But if you live in Salt Lake City, you got to be based for Salt Lake on local driving because most of our hub is right in the heart of Salt Lake City. Sometimes you might go down south to Fillmore, which is a couple hour drive, pick up an empty, drop something off. We have accounts all over the place in, in uh, greater Salt Lake areas. Provo, you guys have heard of Nicholas, Americold, you guys know Associated. We have accounts with these guys where we can drop the trailer and they can load. We don't want the drivers waiting there five, six, seven hours for some dumbass that you know loads the trailer at one mile an hour. You know, that's one of the biggest pet peeves in trucking is waiting for something to be loaded or unloaded. So if you're a local person, you know, let's, let's get you 20 bucks an hour. All right, let's put you in a truck. And if your guys want to be home every night, that's awesome. Um, but let's get you 20 bucks an hour in your pocket. And, and I think you'll like it. Um, I think you'll like the company and you can go over with Brian, um, you know, more questions about the local gig, but right now, you know, if you're working eight to 10 hours a day, you know, times it by 20 bucks. So 
you know, you can make a couple hundred bucks a day. If you, and if you're working five days a week, you know, you're looking at a grand a week. If you want to make more than that, I'm sure Brian and Jeff and our other buddies there, they can probably keep you busy, you know, uh, helping out us. Cause I'm an OTR guy. I, I like to get on the road and stuff. So I really, really rely on local drivers to be happy and being reliable and doing their job. Because if you're doing your job, I can do my job. Okay. So that's what I mean by the teamwork. Uh, when it comes to this type of business, teamwork is everything. So if you are, you know, interested in a local job, you know, you're going to be driving a Peterbilt and all of our trailers, like I told you earlier, it's mostly, um, it's mostly um, Great Dane trailers, 53 footers with reefer. And then of course, um, you know, the dry ones are mostly utility and they're like brand new. They're awesome trailers. They're beautiful trailers. Because if you've been driving before, you know how trailers get, God, they get rusty and beat up and the tires are messed up and the rims don't match and the rust starts turning orange. So it looks like every trailer's orange <laughs> instead of, you know, who's orange? Is it Schneider? I think Schneider's orange, isn't it? But anyway, um, but if you drive local for us, you'll have a good time. All right, let's put 20 bucks an hour in your pocket, start you out with a good wage and uh, let's get you happy. And uh, let's take each, uh, let's, let, let's look at each other's backs, okay? Um, and uh, it'll be a win-win situation. So anyway, I think that's enough for now. It's enough to kind of, if you're watching, if you're a truck driver now, um, sorry I over explained a lot of things that you guys would already know, but I have a lot of friends you know, that don't know the trucking business. I got into it because I just wanted to make sure I always had a living. I've been in radio forever, um, since 1987. Radio incomes like this. I've owned nightclubs, mortgage companies. I've done a lot of crazy stuff. But the thing about a CDL license, when it's a class A, I can drive anything. I can drive a bus, a taxi, a moped, or a big sexy Peterbilt with triple trailers or triple this or double stuffed Oreos. Uh, on the, I mean, I can, I can drive it all. There is a million driving jobs out there. You will always make money if you keep yourself healthy. Don't drive like a maniac, but you can, you can always make a living. And that's what's nice because it's scary when you're unemployed. When people say I'm unemployed, I can't find a job. I'm like, God, can you drive? So there's a shitload of driving jobs. And while you're driving, you can, you know, when you're, when you're off or sleeping or hanging out, you can go to college. You can take college courses, go to YouTube or God, you got a lot of cool stuff you can do while you're driving. So but if you're working nine to five all the time where you have to have a boss yelling at you and going to an office and traffic and bullshit all day, it's hard to kind of think about other things. But when you're driving, sometimes you can relax a little bit and just think about life and how lucky we are to be born and have our health and see the country where other people don't really get to see. Um, God, I was up in Logan today. It is so dang good looking up there. And I know that half of my friends in Salt Lake have never even been to Logan. Because, you know, unless you know somebody up there, you know, why would you go up there? You're like, well, God, I don't even know anyone in Logan. Man, just go up there one day. If you guys aren't truckers and stuff, God, it is the best looking town. I love Logan. And then the other day I was in, I was up by Lake Tahoe and Truckee and the Sahara Mountains. God, it's 70 something degrees still there. And then I, I swung down California. Then I cut over to Vegas and, uh, I, I really enjoy driving. I'm not bitter. I'm not pissed off because it's easy to get that way in any job, isn't it? But like I said, if you're a driver, driver, male, female, you just got a good driving record. You got your medical and you can pass the PP test and, and you're a pretty cool cat. Then why don't you go in my inbox here on Facebook? Give me your name, your number. Tell me a little bit about you. I've been driving for here. I've been doing this and I don't need a big resume. I'm going to get to know you more on the phone than something you type me, but just tell me a little bit about yourself, your experience and, and where you live. And maybe I even know you already. Um, I'm going to bring aboard a couple of my buddies already, I think. And uh, they're good personal friends of mine, which is exciting. That's awesome. And I'm happy because they're going to make more money than ever uh, with this company by far. There, there's no one that pays this much unless, like I said, you take on your own lease, which is basically owner operator, but you've got to pay your own fuel. You know, one tire, one tire on the front of a semi truck's 400 and something bucks. Now times that by 18. You know how much I generally spend on fuel in one week? 
four thousand dollars all right uh the truck i drive is well over 150 g's just for the truck the trailers are 80. where are you going to get two hundred and thirty thousand dollars? i mean that's i mean if you can do it more power to you but if you're an owner operator you probably started doing it in your 20s 30s or 40s i'm in my 50s so i'm not looking to buy my own semi trucks and maintain them and everything else okay so if you want an income that's on par with an owner operator which is the best it's the highest amount usually god forbid fuel prices and breakdowns and all that shit but i don't know of a better trucking job because i do it i'm a rock star driver i've never i've never let one person down in trucking since 2012 and i can i can drive for anybody right now i've been offered nascar jobs i've been offered those tour buses with star coach where i can drive a bunch of rock star assholes around and babysit them all day but this is the best fit to where it's a nice company good people but the pay is there because like i said i can i can sugarcoat all this bullshit all day i can put lipstick on a pig and put a mini dress on it with little cute little high heels and i can make those little pot belly pigs pretty cute but at the end of the day you guys are like look that's all good but what is the pay how much am i going to take home you ask yourself how much do you want to drive you know um it's it's up to you on what you tell us first because we want you to tell us first what you've done and what is your comfort zone okay we're not going to say okay go on the road for 10 years and don't call us back and or we're, we don't want you to do something that you're not comfortable with because then you're just pissed off like other truckers and then you're flipping jobs every year every six months and everything else we don't want that okay like i said we honest to god want a football team okay this company's growing by the way it ain't going anywhere if you knew the ownership and the background it's pretty damn good trust me i wouldn't be here if it wasn't so so yeah we're going places we're trying to increase the trucks and the trailers all right we just bought a handful of new trucks just the other day 2020s yeah i mean just type in a bone stock peterbilt 579 bone stock they're 150 grand and then put in automatic trannies and this and leather seats and put in all this fancy other shit before you know it, there's another 10 grand so isn't it nice if you can get yourself into a truck that's only a year or two old man that's pretty damn cool um that'll make you feel good about yourself uh, just take care of them please because if we hire you please don't beat the beat the shit these trucks i mean don't do that man be better than that because only you and I'm, I'm not saying everybody's like that but sometimes when you hire somebody they take it for granted that these beautiful hundred hundred fifty thousand dollar you know uh basically rvs now at this point but god don't beat the shit out of a man don't embarrass i i'll be embarrassed honestly if you come aboard and you beat the shit out of your truck i'm not gonna i'm gonna be embarrassed don't do that um please be a good clean safe driver be reliable i get it if you have stuff you know whatever but you guys know the difference between just a gosh darn a guy that literally or a girl that could live in a barn because you, you know how you tell Look at a semi truck dashboard. If you see Cheetos and Pepsi and shit all over the dashboard, God, can you imagine what's in back of the dashboard? <laughs> it's like I don't want to know. But come on, man. If if, if you got a hundred and fifty thousand dollar truck, let, let's be rock stars, man, and take care of them. And you're gonna love the ownership. All right. She's one of the sweetest ladies. You know what she bought me? You know how cool this company is? Um, oh, where's my wallet? Hold on a minute. I'm gonna show you what what, what the Hold on just a sec, okay? I'm gonna leave my, my spot. All right. Hopefully I'm still live on Facebook. Oh, my hair. I just washed my hair and it blow dried and now my damn hair's all over the place. Okay, here, let me fix it. God, it's driving me crazy. There, can you see me? <laughs> this is how cool this company is, man. I got a hoot out of this. When I came aboard, man, this lovely woman came up and said, man, welcome aboard. And, and I knew her before I met her a couple of times. And she goes, man, just take care. Look what she got me. She got me a Subway gift certificate card. I get four or five sandwiches on the amount, you know? And I'm like, God, how cool is that? Because no one ever gives me shit when they hire me. I've been in radio. I've been, I've been all over the place. I never get anything when I get hired. And I'm like, 
man, that's such a cool, like, oh, just have a couple sandwiches on me. And I'm like, right on, man. That's so cool. Um, we use EFS. If you guys already drive, you guys already know. I'm not going to show the front, but you guys know what an EFS card is. All right. You guys can fuel up at Pilot. If you guys want to fuel up at SAP, you guys feel my favorite truck stops are Loves because they sell badass cars and shit like trinkets, like toys. So, um, and that's nice too, because a lot of trucking companies, you have to go to the exact same places and go out of your way to do this and, and all that stuff. But what's nice about an EFS card is, you know, if you have to pay for a scale ticket, it goes on the card. If you got one, if you're by a pilot, boom, go ahead and go to pilot. If you're down South and you can only find a flying J go to flying J. Okay. So, uh, but like I said, my personal, I, I love the loves. They're my favorite. So, um, but that's important to truckers because they want to know where they can fuel, you know, and how things are paid and, and whatnot. So, but anyway, thank you. Um, I don't want to say who the owner is because she might be on Facebook, but uh, that is so cool. I'll tell you what, man, it's pretty cool when the owner herself just says, oh, just have a couple sandwiches on me. So I'm like, right on. That's the type of company I, I like working for. So, all right, well, that's enough. I've been shooting the shit. It's like nine o'clock. Uh, if you guys are watching this live, um, good to see everybody. I'm still doing my other businesses and my rock and roll and I got pure rock radio still kicking ass. Um, now that I'm on the road again, I'm going to start doing live breaks because in my truck, I just got a badass new truck and I've got a 2000 watt inverter, which I can do a blow dryer, microwave, home stereo. I can put a merry-go-round in my truck and there's still plenty of power, but I'm going to go ahead and start doing more live, um, you know, radio type shows and trainings and everything else. Because right now we're going into winter and I kind of get stir crazy. And all my friends know that once it turns cold, I do like to go to the mountains and have some fun and see this, you know, see the ski resorts and smell those delicious cheeseburgers and all that. But I like to see the country when it's winter time, uh, especially the warmer states, if you know what I mean. So, but yeah, you'll see a lot more video now. I know the last couple of weeks I've had to lay low, but I've had a lot going on in the background. Uh, a lot of it had to do with uh, just what I talked about with this video. Okay. So anyway, just to recap, and if you've been watching the last hour, I appreciate it. But right now my good uh, buddy Val is coming over and guess what I bought? Well, I'm going to show you, I got some trinkets and Val had to go pick it up because I've been in California the last couple of days. So um, I got my good buddy Val. She's bringing over some stuff I bought online and and then uh, I got to go buy some stuff. I got to do a little shopping because I've been out of town for a long time. So anyway, if you've got a CDL Class A commercial license, if you're driving currently or you're not and you've just been off a little bit, that's okay. Just be current. Have a current medical card. You guys know what it is. They check your eyes. They check your blood pressure. If you got diabetes, it's okay if it's treatable. You can have a layer of diabetes, but if it's too bad, they'll reject you. But if you got treatable diabetes, they understand that either diet or pills, but there's, you can have diabetes to a certain level, but you have to pass eyes. You know, you have to have eyes. If you have to wear glasses, that's fine. You know, they check your blood pressure. You know, they just do a basic exam. You guys know what it is if you already drive, but you have to have a current medical. Okay. We can't wait for that. If you're going to start driving, you need the medical like now, you know what? They're only like 65 bucks. Go to like Concentra. You don't have to have health insurance. Don't go to some doctor that says, well, give me 500 bucks. Last time I took a medical, like whatever, my, I just refreshed it. Uh, 65 bucks, I think it was. And that's no insurance, no nothing. If you have 65 something bucks and some tax, just go pay it. And if you pass it, they'll give you a little card that you can put in your wallet. And then they'll give you a big piece of paper breaking down everything, okay? So if you guys are kind of wondering if your medical is current or not, just look, if you don't have a copy of it, it means you don't have it. Even if you do, you can't lose it. A dog can't eat it. You got to have at least the card that goes in your wallet or the big piece of paper that says you passed it. Okay. And the P test, it's the same thing. We pay for the P test. You got to supply the P. So what you're going to do is go down to like a concentra and drink a lot of water and then do a little P and it takes a couple days for the third party person to analyze your PE and say, yes, it looks clean, everything's cool. And you know, it takes a couple of days just to do the paperwork. It's nothing fancy. It's the same stuff as any driving job or any job you've ever had. Um, you do have to have a social security card. Okay, if you don't have one, just order it online. 
you know, they're not expensive. You know, it's not the old days where you'd have to go do all this crazy bullshit, but you will need obviously your driver's license and you're going to have to have your medical card, but you also have to have your um, social security card eventually too. We just have to have it on file. And that's just the way it is with truck driving. And, and you guys already know that if you're already driving. So anyway, that's it. I didn't mean to talk for an hour, but you know what? It's just fun. All my videos are just hanging out. I feel like you guys are just kind of hanging out with me on a couch and we're sipping drinks, wondering what we're going to do on this fine Saturday night. I'm in Utah, by the way. So if you want to be a local driver, you pretty much got to live like at least in Salt Lake City, Ogden or Provo, Park City, Tuella. Um, you guys know where Salt Lake City is. You've got to go there to get the truck to drive locally and go home every night. So that's the only thing on local, you pretty much. But, you know, if you live out of town, you know, don't be afraid to call Brian. You might be uh, live in like Twin Falls. Maybe you live in, I don't know, maybe on the skirts of Evanston or, you know, whatever. But um, let Brian work that out for you, okay? Because a lot of guys that drive trucks, they just, they just, you know, they drive for a week and then they get back and then they'll just park their truck for a few days and just go home and or they'll migrate or maybe they'll just stop. There's a lot of times where a run might go through your hometown. Let's say you live in Idaho. You know, and if you're up there on a run, uh, maybe they can work it out where you can just take a couple days off while you're up there and then hit the road again. So if you live out of town, don't let it scare you. Go ahead and I'm going to have you call Brian, but I want to talk to you first. All right. I just want to feel you out a little bit. Um, not like this, but just want to kind of talk a little bit. Make sure you're okay. Make sure you're in a good mood. Make sure you're ready for a job that, that uh, I think you'll be happy with. I wouldn't embarrass my name on my own Facebook page. I'm embarrassing myself with my hairdo right now. There, I almost look like a little Mormon boy, don't I? Everyone's like, cut your hair off, you're 53. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. Some guy called me a, he was trying to bash me on Facebook. He goes, well, Corey looks like a girl with a beard. I'm like, I guess I do. <laughs> I look like Bruce Jenner, right? Except 20 years younger. <laughs> It's hard to piss me off. You can trash me all day on Facebook. I don't give a shit. As long as I have some Legos and my fine friends there to say hi to, it's all good, isn't it? All right. So anyway, um, go ahead, go to my inbox and just give me a little rundown of what you have done, your experience, if you have anything bad on your driving record. And and that's it. You know, I, I don't need a full resume. Don't be nervous. We're, we're kicked back, man. We just, we just want to have a good experience, you know? So uh, but anyway, go ahead and get a hold of me anytime. Every day I might be doing a video similar to this, but only like 10 minutes, a real quick one. Like I said, this one's more conversational. But anyway, you guys, I think, know about this opportunity enough. So if you want a job, let's start you at 55 cents. We'll bump you up once you're reliable, prove yourself a little bit. Uh, we'll slide you into paying half your health insurance, 401k if you'd like. Uh, there'll be vacation, of course, stuff like that. If you need time off, vacation, everything else, you're just going to call our dispatch guys. There's a couple guys. They're awesome. They know their shit. Um, you know, and uh, let's make some money. I mean, you're going to make more money here, I think, than where you're at now. Unless you're an owner operator, I understand. It's a lot of work, but you guys deserve the extra money if you guys are owner operators. That, that's a big, big reliability, big responsibility. And it's a big business, man. That's awesome. Good for you guys. But anyway, okay, that's it. I'm going to have me a little snack. And I'm hoping to get these little trinkets I bought from my good Betty Val. And Val, if you're watching me, um, call me or whatever. I'm, I'm off the live thing. She's probably like, hey, Corey, quit talking about trucking and shit. I got those little trinkets coming. So, all right. Um, you guys have a good night. And I'll see you a thousand more times at least, either on the road or in my studio here. Uh, just having fun, okay? And I'm going to show you what I got anyway. Uh, probably, I'll probably do one more video before the night's over. All right, man. Uh, let's have some fun if you want to do some business, okay? You guys have enough info. Get a hold of me on my inbox, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.